welcome to Real Economy. Europe plans to cut its reliance on Russian fossil fuels by 2027 and to scale up renewable energy, also part of its goal to be climate neutral by 2050. Is it realistic and can Europe afford this? Coming up, I put that question to the EU's Commissioner for Energy. Plus, Guillaume de Jardin is finding out why investors are putting their money into solar power in Spain. But first, here's your crash course on just how much it's all going to cost. Europe needs to reduce its dependence on Russian fossil fuels as well as tackle climate change. The European Commission has come up with an action plan, Repower EU, to end dependency by 2027, which includes scaling up and speeding up renewable energy. It's going to cost 210 billion euros and major investment is needed. This is where InvestEU, the EU's flagship investment programme, steps in. Working in partnership with the European Investment Bank, it has a guarantee of 26 billion euros from the EU, which reassures investors and is expected to bring in more than 370 billion euros in public and private financing. Its investments focus on four areas, sustainable investment, innovation, social inclusion and job creation. And at least 30% must contribute to making Europe carbon neutral. Part of the Repower EU plan is to double Europe's solar capacity over the next two and a half years. Guillaume Desjardins headed to Spain to see how InvestEU is helping fund solar plants there. Between Valladolid and Salamanca, there are solar panels as far as the eye can see. This solar farm is part of a seven-site project built since 2020, thanks in part to InvestEU. Well, of course, Spain is a great place to, to build these uh, solar panels, solar plants, because we are one of the countries with ma more hours of sun uh, per year. These seven solar photovoltaic plants have a capacity of 261 megawatts. And does it mean that produce 477 gigawatts hour of energy per year? That's enough energy to provide electricity to over 120,000 households. The project was funded through a partnership between public and private investors. The European Investment Bank played a crucial role in generating the finance. Out of the total 189 million euros, it provided 54, either as a loan or guarantee mechanism. It also brought an additional 40 million euros, acting as an intermediary. It means over a third of the total cost of the project was already covered. Enough to reassure private investors to provide the remaining 89 million euros. We are betting in the future of these companies. So uh, that tells something to other investors uh, that are perhaps investing in that company, whether they are financiers, whether they are equity holders, and uh, puts a company in the map saying, OK, uh, sort of I have a quality stamp from the EIB. No? InvestEU's original goal was to spearhead a green and digital economic recovery. The war in Ukraine and the consequent sanctions against Moscow, however, mean it will now be channelled to help end Europe's reliance on Russian gas and oil. And our intention is to continue developing projects. Here we're working also with EIB for a larger financing, a larger package of projects. The crisis with uh, Ukraine, well, it's, I think it's put on the table the real needs of Europe. We are absolutely reliant on other sources of energy that we don't have in Europe. And we need to be aware how important is energy for us. And the only way to solve this situation is with renewable energy. Because this is an emergency. It has to be not in four or five years, that will be too late, to be able to develop all this power in one, two years maximum. In May, the European Commission launched its Repower EU plan, which aims to tackle non-financial hurdles such as administrative permits and authorizations. Well, to talk more about Repower EU, I'm here in Brussels to speak to the EU's Commissioner for Energy, Kadri Simpson. Commissioner, welcome to Real Economy. Is it realistic to think that you can end dependency on Russian fossil fuels by 2027? We um, do our utmost uh, to get rid of this dependency even faster, as fast as we can. And Repower EU is the plan how to replace 
Russian imports uh, with alternatives. And we have reached out to uh, several trustworthy trading partners. But uh, this is not enough. We don't want to replace uh, fossil fuels with um, other fossil fuels 100%. And that means that uh, where we can, we will replace uh, natural gas with renewables. We will prioritise electrification in building sector, but also in transport. And, and on top of that, we will prioritise savings. You talk about ending dependency on Russian fossil fuels, but you're looking to import oil and gas from other countries. Won't that just lock us into new dependencies? We plan to replace uh, only one third of Russian imports with um, other fossil fuels. So yes, we will diversify our supply routes, but um, parallel to that, we are also uh, accelerating our own green transition where we can replace fossil fuels with renewables, we will do so. Can you talk us through the plans for scaling up, accelerating renewable energy within Repower EU? There are some ways how we can uh, um, promote renewables very fast, for example, at rooftops. So, um, according to our proposal, all the new built buildings should have rooftop panels. The biggest bottleneck that is permitting um, right now, it might take as long as seven years to get permit for offshore wind park, but the European Commission has uh, made a proposal, uh, the right um, that we call overriding public interest. That shortens the permitting period significantly. Now, you've calculated that to end dependency on Russian fossil fuels will cost 210 billion euros. Can Europe afford this? If we keep in mind that in previous years, each year we paid uh, approximately 100 billion euros uh, to Russia for oil, gas and coal imports, then it makes sense to replace that uh, dependency. We do know that uh, member states do still have um, unused recovery funds. So uh, there are loans part of 225 billion that member states can use for um, green projects. Financing is a key. Uh, InvestEU is a, a very useful tool at our disposal because uh, in the period 2021 to 27, we will be able to mobilize um, approximately 372 billion euros. Commissioner, thank you for joining us on Real Economy. Thank you.